Hey guys, welcome to the third episode in this tutorial series. I am your host, Tony Marinenderi from Tox Animation. In the last tutorial, we modeled the base head of our character. And in this tutorial, we shall model the rest of the body. If you're new to the channel, kindly consider subscribing to our channel and we can continue sharing knowledge in making exceptional creations with Blender. Now with those few words, let's get on with the tutorial. We are going to model the body of our character, starting off with the shoulder and chest area. Now let us add a circle of six vertices and then rotate it along the Y axis by 90 degrees. Now let us scale it down a little bit and then drag it to the area around the joint of the shoulder and the arm. Now scale and position the vertices according to the reference image below. Remember to always stay true to the reference image for a better modeling experience and also better results in the end. From the side view, rotate the vertices so you have three vertices at the top and three at the bottom. This will be of great help when we are connecting the hand to the arm, as you will see later. Now, extrude the vertices towards the neck, as you can see me doing in the video. And now we can join this circle to the head. Now let's proceed to polish the neck vertices so we can easily join them to the arm and complete the shoulder area. Proceed to close the top three vertices around the start of the arm with the three vertices on the right side of the neck, as you can see here. Now pick the last two vertices since we want the topology to flow across the back of the character and then extrude them down downwards. Close the resulting faces just to make sure that you are getting the right topology and then proceed to finish extruding till you have finished the back side of the character and joined it to the arm section. Do the same process for the front of the character around the chest area. Now as you can see the loop around the model has seven vertices, which means that we will need to add a circle of 12 vertices in order to finish the abdominal area of the character. I usually use a simple formula of multiplying the vertices by two and then subtracting two because of the two vertices that are clipped by the mirror modifier in the middle. So seven by two is 14, 14 minus two is 12. Now scale these vertices down and then move them up along the x-axis to the area just below the chest of the character. Go into the side view and scale and move the vertices till they follow the reference image. Proceed to extrude the vertices downwards till you reach just, you know, the area just below the belt area, somewhere around there. And now it is time to model the groin area. Select the last two vertices on the front side and on the back side and then extrude them downwards and also scale them inwards. You have to scale them in a manner that follows the natural topology flow around the groin. Now fill up the face between the front and back of these last two bottom vertices so that we close the groin loop. As you can see, we have finished the groin area. Now it's time to cut the vertices on the left side of the abdominal area, join the area with the main character and then close the loops to finish up the top part of the body. Now it is time for you to model the leg and the foot. Okay, just a little more polishing around the touche area. Uh, pull it out just a little bit more. Good. When we look at the number of vertices that form the you know, the beginning part of the leg, you can see that we have nine, nine vertices and this is not a good number. So let's just add a loop cut at the center of the groin area so that we have 10 vertices to work with. Now add a circle of 10 vertices and proceed to model the leg. Okay, this is pretty straightforward. Just extrude the faces, extrude, extrude the edges, extrude the vertices downwards, keeping them in line with the with the reference image below until you get to the bottom. Quick and easy. 
when you reach the bottom, grab the front five vertices at the bottom of the leg and extrude them outwards so that we can form the top part of the boot, the boot that he's going to be wearing. Now extrude the middle vertex alone, the middle one outwards and downwards, and then close off the faces to form the front part of the toe area. Next, grab the five vertices at the back of the foot and extrude them downwards. Finish joining the faces in the middle and you will have completed the top of the boot. Now let us extrude the lower part and then uh, we shall scale the vertices to towards the cursor, the Z axis towards the cursor by hitting scale Z zero so that we have the bottom edge of the boot. That looks pretty cool, right? Okay, now let us join the leg that we have just created to the main uh, character and then uh, we are going to close off the area around the hips using uh, Ctrl E and uh, bridging the edge loops so that now we have a complete, you know, the whole top and lower part of the body is now complete as one. All right, just do a little bit of more polishing uh, so that we can keep the the, the, the the model in line with our reference image. Just pull out a few vertices here and there and uh, continue doing some little more polishing until we have something pretty cool. Let's shade smooth and there we go. So one part that is left now is to do the finer details of the boot. So let's add some edge loops there. And then select the faces that are in the middle and then extrude and scale outwards. Uh, make sure that you're scaling from the medium point, not from the cursor. We had forgotten that. So let's go back and make sure that we are scaling from the middle medium point of those uh, of that loop of that loop of faces. And then we are going to add some. Uh, it still looks like it is just a round donut. So we are going to after we polish up the scale of these edges, we are going to add some loop cuts so that the edges are a little bit sharper. Okay. So let's do that. Now, looking at the model from the bottom, let us finish off the sole of the boot by extruding the vertex that is in the middle, making sure that we constrain it to the Y axis so that the bottom is flat and then close the faces as we go along. Now let us polish up the shape of the shoe because now it looks just like a flat loaf of bread. Let us bring in the arc of the foot and then push out those vertices so that we have a more natural looking, uh, you know, foot underside. The underside of the foot has that kind of uh, look. There is an arc in the middle and then the outer edge kind of tends to flow outside. Now continue doing some few touches, uh, pull out the vertices towards the toe and uh, shape the foot so that it looks more natural. This is pretty normal. You have to make sure that the foot looks normal before you can move on. So let's just keep doing that. Now let us add another loop cut because the sole looks a little bit too roundish and then uh, slide them downwards to make the sole look sharper and more natural. Now let us fix the back side of the character, what is normally known as the touche. Our character does not have a prominent backside like we would like would be the case if we were modeling a female character. So we will not do much with regards to the topological flow. So we will just add some faces here, extrude some faces and uh, just make sure that he has, you know, a little ramp at the back. Now just polish the touche area and then we can uh, then move on and uh, finish modeling the arm of the character. Well, this is just a um, quick, quick. Um, if it was a female character, I'd probably spend a lot more time um, uh, with the topology around here. But this is just a small kid with a nice 
round rump is just a small uh, superhero wannabe probably loves fantasizing about superheroes so um, there's no need of putting too much attention towards the part just let's make it uh, good and make sure that it will deform properly when uh, we are animating the character all right that looks pretty fine so i think that will be good enough to go with now at the arm like we said just extrude and follow the reference image and uh, once you're done we can move on to model the hand the hand will be modeled separately and then we will connect it to the rest of the body towards the end of this tutorial and now we will have created what we call the base mesh once we have finished the hand we are not yet there but we are getting there so let us now go and model the hand now to model the hand let us start by adding the reference image that is provided in the, the link below and uh, then we can have a reference on which we shall model the hand i love using references because you know it keeps things it keeps things nice and and and, and simple so let's uh, align the reference and then start off by adding a circle with which we shall use now to model the hand. It's rather straightforward. Then make sure that the circle starts off with 10, 10 vertices. I think I love the number 10 very much. <laughs> it works very, very well with my models. And then we shall move around the, the hand, just adding vertices as we go along. Now this is uh, pretty straightforward and so I'm just going to zoom through. You can see what I'm going to do. Every step is there though just at a little bit of a faster pace and then you will see just how quickly that uh, we can do this. Okay. So let's just um, move up uh, the, the vertices and uh, Start extruding and following the reference image below. Just extrude and uh, leave some space there for the thumb, then extrude to the edge of the fingers, then shape that shape according to the reference image. Then we are going to close those faces for the area that is between, between the fingers, then extrude quickly, keeping the reference keeping true to the reference image and then uh, make sure that the, the shape of the thumbs uh, the, the, the shape of the appendages is uh, more or less cubic so just um, select and scale accordingly select in and scale in scale out make sure that you have a kind of like a cubic look then we can duplicate those and then we will close those loops and duplicate that and then we'll close the loops and then make the areas for the knuckles the areas below so let's close those face loops and then go ahead and uh, create the cuts for the knuckles the folds of the fingers and the knuckles okay now we have the basis of the hand uh, we are going to put in some loop cuts for the knuckles you know the the, the parts of the hand that fold and uh, then we finish off the thumb and that's it then we close off the the the, the area between the wrist and the thumb and uh, we'll have our hand ready to be uh, connected to the main character okay um let's model the thumb uh, don't forget that the thumb the thumb has only one joint in the middle it's not like the fingers uh, the thumb bone starts somewhere inside the palm so don't forget that um that looks pretty okay let's just polish up uh, after applying a subdivision surface let's polish up let's polish up this model before the subdivision surface, you could not see, you know, exactly how it's going to be, but yeah, that looks pretty cool. Okay, but that hand looks a little thin, so let's just add a few more 
details and then uh, we'll see how to close off the corners around the, the back part of the palm. Okay, now we have the hand, but um, the, the, the number of vertices at the bottom area is eight. And remember the hand that we, the arm that we modeled on the main character has six, six vertices. So we're going to have to uh, do something to reduce the number of vertices around the bottom part of the hand. And basically what we can do is just um, extrude them a little bit. Uh, further extrude them along the X and then we'll cut off the edges and uh, uh, then we will do what we call uh, you know merging them at a central point so that we have a loop that now instead of going straight into the arm it will kind of like flow around the, the, the top and bottom part of the hand and then we will have uh, six uh, six uh, six vertices at uh, at the end So let us delete those vertices and then uh, delete the last vertice along the outer edge and then uh, merge them as you can see me doing. Merge that one and that one. And you can see now after we merge them, the loop kind of goes around the hand, it doesn't go straight into the arm. So let's do the same on this side, delete those two vertices and then merge those two. Okay, and then as you can see, we are getting the exact result that we want. Merge those two again. And now you can see that we are left with a loop of six vertices, which will be perfect for merging with the hand. The only thing now that is left is to make the hand look a bit more thicker. Don't forget that this is a glove, so we are not going to add details like the nails and we're not going to add any details to do with the knuckles. You know, we're not going to make them prominent. So what we're going to do now is just kind of like drag the edges out so that, the, you know, it looks like a thickish, uh, a thick, a thick glove that will be in keeping with the character that we want we remember we want some babyish hands babyish hands tend to be a little bit podgy they look a bit fattish so we're just going to drag out the edges just a little bit and we shall be done now we are ready to move and join the hand to the rest of the mesh and finish up the base mesh of our character Okay, now we have brought in the hand and uh, it's now time to just connect the hand to the rest of the body and then close up the loops in the middle. Just a little bit of polishing here and there. Uh, make sure that the hand is in the right position so that, you know, things don't look a bit awkward. And uh, that is it. It's going to be that simple. And I hope you have enjoyed this. Okay, let's just uh, join those now and then close off those two. Control E, bridge edge loops. And there we go. We have our base mesh. And now we are ready to add the finer details of the mesh so that we can get, before we go into uh, assigning materials and texturing, we have to finish the finer details of our character, you know, make him look uh, pretty cool and um, yeah. Okay, now that brings us to the end of this tutorial. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please click on the logo above and subscribe and we can continue sharing more tutorials with you in the future. Till next time, I bid you a happy blending time.